Okay, hey girl. So, um, I just got back from going to dinner with my mom and there are these products that I was sent by a company called Banish. They sent me some stuff. This is not a sponsored video. Um, they didn't even say that I had to make a video. They said that I, they just wanted me to try the products. So it's like a little PR package, my first PR package. Well, not my first, but my first like company that hit me up and was like, hey, we want you to try our products. Can we send some out to you? Like that type of situation. So very exciting. Um, this brand seems super dope because um, I was able to pick four products and they all have to do with like acne and acne scarring and hyperpigmentation and all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I got and I'm gonna tell you guys like what I'm gonna try today and yeah, we're gonna do that. So they sent me a back knee blaster acne blaster and this is a body scrub um, it blasts away body acne and KP it has glycolic acid malic acid and tar tartaric acid use on the body in gentle motions and rinse off do not use on facial skin so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like kind of looks like a brown sugar consistency Feels like sand almost and it smells like really good it smells like um like a peppermint mocha like if you ever get peppermint mocha from like uh starbucks or something like that um that's what it smells like it smells really good and then they also sent me a pumpkin enzyme mask And this one is an AHA exfoliating mask. It lightens dark spots and you get an instant glow in 10 minutes. Now, I really wanted to try this tonight, but I can't try it with the other thing that I want really, really want to try tonight. So I got to do one or the other. I'll probably make another video or just add it to this video when I do try this. And it'll just be like a whole, you know, video in itself. But this is with the pumpkin. Oh, and it smells so good. It's kind of thick it smells like sweet potato pie or pumpkin pie like but it smells more like sweet potato than pumpkin if that makes sense it just smells so freaking good oh my gosh <sighs> that smells so good i'm so excited to use this i love enzyme masks they burn a little bit there's always like a little tingling but it always gives you this beautiful glow after you use a, specifically an enzyme mask like chef's kiss okay i also picked a banish serum because i'm trying to get rid of these dark spots if you guys can see yeah so and i also have hormonal acne right now so i got those right here here some over here it's just anyways so i got this banish serum and this has this is a dark spot corrector with vitamin c and e and it says freshly made so i think that they make their products like you know as you order them and then it's not like you know sitting on the shelf this has a light very very light scent it smells good though i'm excited to use this i can use this with what i'm going to show you next which is the last thing they sent me well i got to pick this is called the banisher and this is a micro needling little tool for at home use um it came with this this has alcohol in it because i was disinfecting it but this is also the top and it doubles as like a disinfecting cup so you can put this in here and it'll dis disinfect the needles um but right now i am going to read off the little card that they have about this banisher because that's what i'm going to use in this video today why the banisher is the safest at home macro needling tool number one the bristles are pressed straight down with the banisher while derma rolling devices scoop into the skin at an angle so i don't know if you guys ever seen those derma rolling i think my boyfriend has a derma roller 
and this is what a derma roller is. So it has the little, oh my gosh, focus. Okay, so it has the little needles on there, if you can see. These ones have the little needles here. These have the little needles. Um, but this is a roller. So they're talking about that this one is better to just like a stamp versus this one, which is digging into your skin. And then the thinner brish bristles compared to others. So these bristles are apparently thinner, so that's better. Um, it's easy to disinfect. The protective cap doubles as a cleaning container to pour 70% rubbing alcohol in. Um, microneedling is one of the best procedures to effectively target acne scarring, particularly atrophic and crater crater form scars that often seem permanent or ref refractory to treatment. For the ideal device, I recommend none other than the Banish 2.0. Oh, it's called Banish 2.0, which I have used myself and on many patients and successful. That was the doctor talking. I'm going to read off the instructions. Um, always start with the thoroughly cleansed skin and hands, which I already did. Disinfect the bandager, twist off the cap and pour 70% to 90% isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol, okay? Alcohol in the cap up to the fill line. Twist the cap back on and let the bristles fully touch the alcohol for five minutes. Twist open the cap and let the banisher dry for two minutes. Wipe the skin, wipe skin with an alcohol wipe and let dry. Um, which I still need to do. Press the banisher, banisher three to five times on each area. Lift the banisher before pressing down again. Okay, and then after this, after I do that, then I pat the banish serum or vitamin C cream on the skin after using the banisher. Banish serum, that's what I have, right? Yes, okay, so. After I do the microwave needling, then I'm going to do the banish serum. Clean the banisher with rubbing alcohol, empty out the cap, and twist the cap back on. For storage, use every one to two weeks. Okay, important. Read first before using. Please patch test the banisher on a small area of skin before use. Personal use only. Do not share with others. Do not use over a rash, acne, wound, or infection. Do not use if allergic to metal or gold. Do not apply makeup cosmetics after until the next morning or at least eight hours after using the banisher. We recommend using at night or before you go to bed so you can do your usual makeup routine the next morning. Do not apply exfoliating acids immediately after use. Do not give to young children. Okay, so I definitely cannot do the pumpkin enzyme mask because this is an, an ex, uh, AHA exfoliating mask. So I really wanted to do that mask, but I can't. So obviously I'm not going to. So I think I'm just going to keep my skincare routine pretty simple tonight. I do I want to add that? My snail mason and the banisher, but I'm going to do the banisher. No, because you have to put this on while your skin is wet. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to do the banish serum and then my snail mucin moisturizer. And just do it like that. So let me wipe my face off with some alcohol and then we're going to try this together. Okay, so I have my 70% alcohol. I'm going to get a little face cotton round. That on there. I'm going to wipe my face. If you did not know already, 70% alcohol is the only percentage of alcohol that's good for your skin. Safe for your skin, I should say. Put anything higher than 70% on your skin, please. I'm gonna burn the heck out of your skin. Okay. I'm going to move my hair back and I'm going to get a little bit closer so we can get acquainted. Okay, let me turn on the light actually. Let me add some extra light so y'all can see. I feel like that looks good. Okay, so let me make sure I'm doing this right. 
wipe the skin with alcohol, press the pen to three to five times on area. Um, okay. So I think I'm just gonna start by doing my whole face one time and I'm just gonna repeat it three to five times because I'm not gonna remember any other otherwise. It doesn't hurt. It just kind of feels like a really small pinch, but it doesn't hurt at all. Yeah, the needles are really small. It's not invasive, doesn't feel bad or anything. I wonder, oh, can you see? Something looks different about my skin. I mean, I'm pressing it with needles, so I'm assuming that it would look different, like starting to get red, but based off of how it feels, it doesn't feel like it would show anything, if that makes sense, like, but it is getting kind of red. Okay, so that was one round on my face. I don't know if I can do like my upper lip. <laughs> my face was so dry. Okay. I don't know, I like it. I'm not sure how it's going to feel after I put on the serum though. I'm kind of like, huh. Oh, look at my eyebrow. It is, did I put alcohol up there? Why would I do that? I don't think I did. Okay, this is the third go around. I think I'm just gonna do five rounds. And then go from there. But microneedling is like really good for your skin, especially if you have like really bad acne and you have really bad acne scars. I don't know, I don't remember the science behind it. I did go to esthetician school, but we we didn't learn about microneedling like extensively. Like we had a little class because some people came from like another school or something, I can't remember, but they ended up coming and telling us about microneedling. So it wasn't like, you know, and we learned it about it like in passing, like throughout the book, they obviously talk about microneedling, but we didn't have, we never practiced Magdalene, we didn't have any tools for it, so I never got comfortable with it. But yeah, I, I don't know how hard I'm supposed to be pressing. I don't think I'm supposed to be pressing that hard though. Um, I think I just need to go one more time. And I also think that microneedling also makes it easy for your skin to absorb products because the holes, there's like little micro holes in your skin. So it absorbs serums and moisturizers and all that a lot better from what I remember learning in that little class that we did. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put it back in the disinfecting thing. And that's how it looks when it's in the disinfected. It has like a fill line right here. And it tells you how much, you know, alcohol to put in. Okay, my face is kind of burning a little bit. I'm gonna put this vitamin C serum on here. I'm gonna show you guys the texture, at least try to. 
kind of feels like an oil, which is nice. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Almost feels like a like a jojoba oil, like a really light facial oil, which I like. I'm not mad at it. I do like that. I was expecting it to be more of like a watery, like, you know, like a typical serum. But I like it. Maybe the serum is all I need. Maybe I don't need a um, moisturizer. I don't know. But my face feels very warm up here and it feels spicy it feels definitely feels spicy up there i'm gonna put some of this on my eyelid because i i don't know how i got alcohol up there but yeah it feels very spicy on my forehead so i don't know i don't know i like it though i just i don't know how i just need to keep trying it like i need to see results from it I don't know we'll see it's tingling it's tingling um I don't know if I should put but I do like that I do like this a lot actually I was not expecting it to be like an oily type I do like that gives me a nice glow like a nice subtle glow like it definitely reminds me of specifically a jojoba oil like not any other oil um yeah oh i was supposed to pat oh i was supposed to pat the serum in i wasn't supposed to wipe it maybe that's why it's so irritated i forgot i was supposed to wipe it it's okay Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it be. I'm just gonna leave the oil on there or the serum on there. But then I'm like, my face doesn't feel dry though. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. Um, probably in the next clip, I'm going to be doing the back knee blaster. And then on another day, but like I'm gonna put it in the same video, I'll also try the pumpkin enzyme mask i don't know if i'm gonna try that tomorrow i don't know if that'll be too much with the microneedling i feel like it will so i think i'm probably just gonna do that later and on in the week or something because i'm just scared i don't know what's gonna happen but i'm definitely gonna use the back knee blaster soon so that'll be somewhere in this video thank you for watching this segment though um i will see you guys in the next clip we'll we'll see how we you know pick back up all right uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think I started something. I got what I wanted. Did, did not came for okay hey girl so we are in the shower now and i'm gonna be using my tea tree eucalyptus and aloe body wash that i found a couple weeks ago and this is honestly my favorite body wash it's really good for body acne because of the tea tree and it just feels like a spa when i use this it feels so amazing on my skin and i especially love using it after a workout if you want to try this body wash out definitely try it i have it on my amazon storefront if you would like to um if you'd like to try it out they also have other um, scents so definitely go check those out now i'm gonna go in with this banish body scrub and y'all let me just tell you this stuff blew my mind i was not expecting this first of all i was not expecting it to get so soapy which i actually love it feels like an extra clean that i get like an extra you know just a little a little extra tune-up 
And you guys, this is amazing. I literally love this body scrub. I was not expecting it to have this type of texture or have it foam up like this. Was not expecting that. So that was definitely a lovely surprise. I absolutely love this body scrub, you guys. This, I can't say anything else other than I love it. Um, it definitely gives like a very nice exfoliation. It's not too abrasive, but it's also not too non-abrasive, if that makes sense. So it's right in the middle. It gives you just enough exfoliation to where it feels like, you know, you're really getting those dead skin tails off, but also just, um, you know, really treating those ac the acne that you might have, any um, scarring that you might have. It just feels like it's just doing what it's supposed to do. I don't know how to explain it. This is what it looks like when my um, skin was rinsed off and it just felt so soft and extra clean and it gave off this minty feeling like this minty tingly feeling that I absolutely loved it just made me feel like I like I don't know like I brushed my body with toothpaste or something I don't know if that's a, it's a good thing to me I love it I don't mind it I use this stuff everywhere I was only just going to use it on my back and my chest, but I ended up using it on my legs, on my feet, um, and I am going to be shaving, so this is the perfect time to use this. I love using a body scrub before I shave because it just, it just gives a closer shave, I feel like, and with this stuff, I just felt like my legs have never looked this good after shaving so this is me rinsing off that body scrub and you guys are gonna see after I shave my legs look amazing they just look soft even here before I shave they look softer than they ever have with any other body scrub like hands down And here I'm just using the um, this Gillette sh shaver, I believe it is. I think it's Gillette. Um, I just ended up getting it at this grocery store called Winco um, in a pack of three, I believe, for probably like $4. Um, I usually don't care what shavers I use on my legs. Um, I, I just use whatever I can find. And this is my legs afterwards. And y'all, they are so soft. Yes. And here I'm using it on my underarms, and I loved it on my underarms as well. I usually try to find a really good body scrub, but a lot of them have a lot of scents in them. And just artificial, you know, chemicals and all of these things. And I just don't feel comfortable putting them on my underarms because my underarms are pretty sensitive and I have sensitive skin all over anyways. So I usually don't use them on my underarms. Um, but this one I felt absolutely comfortable using on my underarms. So I'm very happy that I have this and they are going to, you know, I, I, this is like hands down the best body scrub I've ever used. I'm not even joking. I ended up um, using a different razor. I use a different razor for my legs and my underarms. I just feel like, I don't know. It's just how I do. Y'all, I just got out of the shower and I know I already said it a million times. I'm not joking. I am not joking. That stuff, that freaking, let me just, this is hands down the best body scrub I have ever used. I'm not even joking. I'm not over exaggerating. This is the best body scrub I have ever used in my entire life. No joke. I could not believe. Hold on. Okay, so from first glance, it looks like it wouldn't be soapy like you guys saw in the video. This lighting is kind of... Mm. Something about it is... I don't know. Okay, maybe that's a little better. Anyways, this is like, I don't understand like what they put in here. I don't understand how they made it. It's soapy, it's extremely exfoliating. It's like my skin right now. I'm about to talk to y'all while I put on my coconut oil because that's gonna be my moisturizer of choice tonight. I just wanna keep it simple. I already like filming is already a whole thing in itself so I'm tired <laughs> but oh my gosh like y'all saw I was using it everywhere like I was using it on my legs on my arms my underarms 
like that stuff is so exfoliating and it feels so nice like even right now i don't know if you guys have ever used like a tea tree oil like shampoo but once you get out of the shower once you rinse it out all that stuff and it has that like tingly minty feeling that you just feel like extra clean that's exactly how i feel especially using that tea tree rose rosemary or not rosemary eucalyptus body wash that makes me feel clean but this specifically is giving off that minty like vibe that i would usually get in like a shampoo or something on my scalp and it's so exfoliating i know i already said that but like i feel like i have to reiterate it it feels so nice and a little goes a long way that's what i noticed i I used way too much when i first pulled it out i definitely shouldn't have used this much but for all the places that i did i definitely did not need to use that much but oh my gosh they are getting my coins <laughs> they are getting my coins every month this is the only thing i i will ever need i'm sure of it i don't even need to wait a couple months like i said y'all this is not sponsored they sent this to me in pr so like no i didn't have to pay for it but they reached out to me wanted me to you know see if i would like it and i'm like okay sure like it sounds cool like natural products they make this stuff like it sounded crazy you know it sounded great when they sent the email over to me and told me all this stuff about it but man that's that needs an award i'm not even joking i'm not even joking i'm not i don't think i've ever said that about anything any body care product that that is like the best that i've ever used maybe i have and i just don't remember um wow i don't know what else to say it's like it has a beautiful scent and then it's like oh my gosh like those acids it feels like it's working like i can feel it on my back right now like i can feel it everywhere i put it under my arms oh everything just feels minty fresh like i just brushed my like when you just brushed your teeth like i don't know how to explain it y'all it just feels so good that is hands down the best body scrub i have ever used in my life like <laughs> easily and then did y'all see my legs did y'all see my legs my legs have never looked like that after using a you know tea tree or anything like that it has never looked like that so i am like oh this stuff here she is the truth the back knee blaster and it even says on their website you can use it on your chest so i just started on my chest and then you know went to my back and all that oh my gosh that <laughs> i wonder if i can use it daily that's probably not good Cause it's extremely exfoliating but it doesn't it's like the perfect amount of exfoliation it's like a little more rougher than it reminds me of sand like if you ever got sand stuck in your like swimsuit or something and it just you feel those like granules that's what it feels like but it's also like not abrasive not super abrasive to where it's like uh, this is uncomfortable but it's so exfoliating and it makes your skin so soft like look at my look at my skin look at my skin like i haven't even put any i didn't put any coconut oil up here this is girl like Y'all need to get that. I'm not joking. I will pay my own, I will pay with my own money to get that. Like, I don't care. Top notch. That stuff is literally top notch. I don't have anything else to say. Um, I'm gonna get dressed and yeah, I will see you guys in another video. I'm gonna show you guys my little PJ outfit and then I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna chill for the rest of the night and just, I don't know. I'm gonna find something to do and you know just relax but yeah okay so I'm gonna show you guys my pajamas I just thought they were so cute it's a little short set I got it from TikTok shop but I'm pretty sure you can get it from like literally any other store online store that sells clothes from overseas <laughs> like I'm pretty sure I saw the same set on Shein or wherever probably on AliExpress too but they're just cute they were cheap I don't remember how much they were probably like five dollars probably less than that um but yeah it's just a cute little pink set 
and yeah so i'm going to head out of here thank you guys for watching i hope you guys get that that i hope y'all need to get this i'm not joking i will never push this hard for another product like this is the truth okay i'll see you guys in another video bye